Hi home brewers, <clears throat> this is just a quick video to show you the temperature controllers that I'm selling. Um, this is a setup that I've made with a, an old bar fridge. I'll just extend it out the side here, some MDF, and there's the controller. It's got a normal sort of computer plug on the back with a fuse, two amp fuse. <coughs> Two standard Australian power points on top, one for cooling, one for heating. Then let's follow the temperature probe line down here. I've insulated the sides here so it's a bit more efficient. And <clears throat> what I've actually done for this one is put a hose with a bun. There's a bun there. Going down into the brew so that it's testing the temperature of the actual brew rather than the side of the barrel so the side of the brewer so there's the thermometer there, you can see the temperature bar if I touch that it's actually cooling at the moment <coughs> there you go, you see that down um, the alternative for that obviously is just to stick it to the side and then insulate it a little bit with some cotton wool or a bit of styrofoam or something like that work fine as well but not quite as accurate and if you don't want to cut up your brewer and put a bung in the top then that's a good option anyway there's the temperature controller running um, I'll just quickly show you how to change the temperature if you want to change it hold down the S button for setting there's function 1 so I'll tap S again now I've got to hold down S and the up or down button, so I'll change it up. And go up to as far as I want. Oh, actually, it goes up to 99.9, I believe. And I'll change it down. If I was doing a lager, I might take it down to about 6 degrees, I think it's about right for lager. Normally, just do or yeast, there you go, and then power, and now it's set, you can check that, hold down S, tap S again on function 1, and now it's set, I'll change it back up, so I've used this temperature controller for about 6 months, this is my prototype one that I've got here on this video and I decided I'd make another 10 and sell them on eBay so hopefully that goes alright and if you are interested in making them you can contact me and I'll tell you where to get the parts if you like but if you're not very good at making stuff or if you just want the convenience of it being ready to go then uh, go ahead and buy one and if you get lucky you might be able to get one cheap on an auction so alright that's it any questions you can uh, send me an email thanks bye